this morning. Even as we buckle down to business, this is what we have as the splash today. How 72 billion shillings cash inflow put Kenya on dirty money watch. That is what we have here. Watchdog falls Kenya's fight against illicit cash agency flags large cross-border hard cash movement. And that story continues on page two of the People Daily this morning. Also, more trouble for KQ as Ethiopia flying Dubai allowed more flights. And that story continues on page two of the Business Daily. And masking firms winning state tenders hits Kenya IMF plans. And ESG reporting fraud among lettuce crumbs to hit East Africa. Talk about greenwashing. More than half of East Africa or East African reported have, have been experienced. Or if, let me go again. More than half of East Africans reported have experienced economic crimes, including sustainability reporting fraud. In the last two years, a new report shows the 2022 PW's a Global Economic Crime and Fraud Survey for, East, for Eastern Africa shows that six in ten respondents have experienced economic crimes. That is the story to want to follow inside the business daily this morning. I shall be showing you what we have inside the other dailies as well daily morning in uganda the citizen and also we shall be looking at the editorial cartoons as well right now let's buckle down to the stories that will set down also which will set a tone for a conversation with uh, our legislators who are here this morning as i've mentioned we're holding court with richard Onyonka, the senator of kisi also we have a member of parliament kitui central this is dr Makalemulu will be joined by Wilson Sosion, 